Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing another vlog slash review. Today's is gonna be about Switzerland as a whole. So we did stay in Bern for a few days and then Jungfrau, which is an Interlaken. It's the Swiss Alps part of Switzerland. So I'm gonna be talking about all my thoughts, the things I loved, a little bit of skiing content if you guys wanna see that and anything that I wanna talk about. So let's get right into the video. So we'll start off with Bern because that is where we first went and I just have to say I loved Bern. Bern is the first place that I could actually picture myself living in because it was very much a city but also not like not like New York City if you guys get what I'm saying but it was absolutely stunning and not only that they had such a cool bike culture like everyone there doesn't drive cars they bike everywhere there's there are even bike lanes and bike lights which i thought was super super cool something else that's very interesting is that in switzerland they have four official languages so they speak italian french swiss german and romanish so you hear different languages absolutely everywhere and i will say if you're an american tourist it does make it very very hard to read the signs and do the bus routes although a lot of people there do speak english so if you're worried about that we did get by because most people did speak english i did just want to mention also that we did go out when we were in Bern. There is a ton of nightlife. The only thing is I'm not a huge techno person. If you don't like techno, uh, it's gonna be hard to find somewhere that doesn't have techno, but the nightlife was incredible. There's tons of young people. Again, expensive though. We did pay a $25 cover. And the place we went to actually was very interesting. They made us tape our phones, all the little cameras, so that we couldn't tape inside. I just thought that was a weird thing. I don't know if that's all of Europe or just some places, but very interesting fact. It's got already, I'm so bundled up. Look at this. You probably won't be able to see, but I'm wearing two layers under here. A pair of leggings, these pants, like it's wool socks, docks, gloves, and a beanie because it is freezing here in Switzerland. But it's our first day here, so we're gonna go out. It is a Saturday, and we met a guy earlier who told us that there was a lot to do and some bar names. So we're gonna go out, check out the scene, and get a little drinks. And yeah, let's just walk around and see how the nightlife is here. One thing that I did not like about Switzerland as a whole, and this is Bern and also the Alps region, is that it is very, very expensive, guys. Okay, so each meal was like 25 francs, which is like 28, 29 dollars for everything. You could not find somewhere, even the restaurants on Google Maps that had like one dollar sign were like 25, 26 dollars. And the food, in my opinion, was not that great, especially for the price but everything there is expensive the hostel is expensive the Airbnb the the food the activities everything is very very expensive so keep that in mind because when we plan this we did only plan on staying in Switzerland for around a week because of the price of everything so as far as Interlaken which is right where the Swiss Alps are where we stayed for a few days one of the coolest places I have visited in my entire life I'm about to show a montage of the skiing so stick around for that I tried really hard on my editing skills but I will say one of the best days of my entire life was skiing the Swiss Alps. I have never seen views like that, skiing like that. It was just, I can't even describe it in words, honestly, because it was so insanely beautiful. Like, everyone talks about the Swiss Alps being the coolest thing ever, but until you're actually there and skiing down them, it was just... It was just incredible. But aside from that, the town, our Airbnb did give us bikes. So we got to bike around the little town and it is so adorable. There's tons of activities to do in Switzerland. It's not like the other places that I've visited where there's not a lot to do other than sightseeing. There was parasailing, skiing, snowboarding, uh, like llamas that you could hang out with. There was a bunch of stuff that you could do as well as a decent amount of nightlife. And so it was definitely one of my favorite places. So far, Switzerland has has to be the highest on the list for me just because it was so unique so beautiful and so many things to do there we have just gotten off the train station we're in Interlaken West um, this is right by Jungfrau which I think is like the skiing mountainous Swiss Alps area so let's go find our Airbnb so our Airbnb host gave us city bikes free city bikes so we just biked around the city which was so much fun with an incredible view and we just sat down to get some food Look at this view, guys. It's absolutely ridiculous. I feel like I say that a lot, but it's just the truth. Look at this. Wow. Europe is an amazing place, guys. Get out, travel the world, see things you never thought you'd see. Incredible. Swiss Alps. It's a really hard climb. Whew. Look at the view, though. 
Unreal. So we got to Grindelwald. Here we are. It's much more snowy here. We plan to go skiing today, but mixed up with the trains, got us here at 1. And skiing ends at 4, so we figured it'd be better just to come tomorrow. So we're extending our stay here a day so that we can ski from like 10 to 4 instead of 1 to 4. So guys, ask about the trains. We ask everybody and we still get lost here. So <laughs> trains are very confusing. So as you can see, we're going skiing today. <laughs> Look at this fit. We're waiting for the train right now because we're skiing the Alps today. The most incredible skiing that I've ever done. In my entire life, I'm so happy. Look at this. Look at the background. Amazing. I'm having so much fun. I just had to give it up. It's time to cue the skiing montage. Ready? Go. time so I don't forget it unbelievable the only thing I'll say is coming from Florida it is very cold in Switzerland make sure you pack appropriately I did bring an actual white puffer jacket and I had like three pairs of pants on gloves a beanie and I had four shirts on I was still cold so pack appropriately but that is everything guys I hope you enjoyed this video I am currently in France so that'll be the next vlog for you guys and subscribe hit the button down below to like it please we're so close to a thousand subscribers and I'll see you guys on my next video